how does spread betting providers work out their prices and how, how transparent is the process? Well, spread betting providers have to work out their prices from, what, uh, from the underlying market. They're not market makers themselves. They are not doing what an institution is doing when it's creating an interest rate swap or something like that. There is ultimately a price that every contract will settle to. Um, so, um, a spread betting provider uh, it, it would be pretty daft to do anything than put their spread around the underlying market at, at any one time. And of course now that just about everything is done on online, prices are transparent. So the actual size of the spread is transparent. Um, although bear in mind that if you have a variable spread, then if the, mar if the spread in the market widens, then so will the spread for the, uh, for the, the spread better spread, if you like. But, you know, given that it's transparent, uh, given that then for the most part, spread betters uh, will be wrapping their spread around an underlying price. So there is that transparency there. Um, you don't, you know, the thing is that if that wasn't the case, then there'd be an awful lot of arbitrage opportunities for people who have more than one spread betting account, especially in markets that are pricing out of hours. So, you know, uh, that, that happens less and less now. And the reason is because you, you, know, you, you pretty much have transparent pricing. And how do they work out those prices? Well, you, you mean in hours or out of hours? Doesn't, don't mind. Okay. You know, how, how do they how do they work out their prices, and is there a, is there a variation between in and out hours? Yeah. Um, well, the, the, again, the spread betting provider isn't actually working out any prices themselves when the market is open. So, in other words, you have a FTSE market when the FTSE is open. You've got the shares trading, and they're contributing to the cash index. You've got a futures market there, and generally speaking, the, the spread better will be pricing off all his contracts uh, from the futures market because the, the futures are the tail that wags the dog. So it's the, the futures market which moves first, and then the cash market uh, catches up. So that's what happens in our. So out of hours, when the, uh, the, the, the you know, when the futures have shut on on, on the FTSE, then the spread better is going to make a calculation of where the FTSE is, the futures are likely to be, and he's he's got plenty of things to look at. He's got the DAX to look at. He's got the currency markets to look at. He's got the the, uh, the U.S. markets, the U.S. futures markets to look at. Um, so you know there are all these things going on which can feed in, so he can calculate, um, you know, uh, uh, get a, make a sensible stab at where the price should be, and then he's going to wrap his price around that, his spread around that. And of course, outside market hours, the spread is wider. So. Of course, all the spread betting companies are doing a similar thing. They're making similar judgments, but they're probably going to, there are going to be variations in price. But given that the fact that you know, the spreads do widen out of uh, ours, it's going to be quite hard for, 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 for us, for the, for the user, to go out and arb, you know, make arb, arb between one, one company and another. Mm. Uh, is it still possible for spread betting and CFD companies to put customer orders straight to the underlying market? Uh, you know, all computer automated with no human intervention. Um, no human intervention. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is. It's it, it's a while now. I mean, things are changing in 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 in, in retail derivatives, and the way, the way that companies offer products is changing very much, and how they're processing those orders changes, and also the way that they process orders depending on the type of client that you are. It can, it can be very different. Uh, you know, in, 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 the, in the FX world, um, you know, you have stuff that might go, that, that, that might not touch the sides as far as the, uh, the provider is concerned, the, the spread betting or the FX provider is concerned. You know, this might be something that you are dealing directly um, via spread better in, 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 and trading with someone else. Um, there are other times, as you know, we, we've, we've talked before about how the, the spread betting provider might automatically take the opposite side of everything uh, that, that, that the customer is giving. Um, so it just does vary, it really does. Um, and it, you know, it's going to depend on the, 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 the financial instruments traded, it's going to depend on uh, the, the, the customer, sort of the, the size of the customer, what, what kind of account he's doing, what kind of size he's dealing in, and it's going to, it's going to, deal, it's going to depend on the, uh, the underlying market.